Now to Colombia, where millions of school children are home instead of in their classrooms, all because of a nationwide teacher strike now in its second week. And there's no telling how long it could last. CCTV's Michelle Bege reports from Bogota. Colombia's public school teachers have been on strike now for more than a week, all 300,000 of them. And while they stage massive protests across the country, some 9 million children are missing out on an education. The teachers are demanding higher salaries, better health benefits, and more investment in education. Last year, during President Santos's election, we came to an agreement, but they haven't fulfilled it. We have come to an agreement that 7.5 of the gross domestic product will go towards education so that we could start spending more on education than war, and that hasn't happened. Even if we graduate with thousands of masters, we'll never get a dignified salary. We can't receive a decent pension, and our salaries are miserable. The strike began on April 22nd when the teachers union FECODE and the government failed to reach a deal after 50 days of talks on teacher pay. According to FECODE, public school teachers earn a monthly average of about 500 U.S. dollars, while a teacher with a master's degree can earn up to 965 dollars. The checkbook has always been limited for education. If we don't have political will to actually believe that education is the road to development and the investment to back that belief, then it will never be possible. While the Minister of Education, Gina Parodi, has called the strikes unjustified, she has pledged to sit back down with union leaders to find a solution and work towards getting kids back into school. Union leaders have said there's little room for compromise, insisting they won't lift the strike until their demands are met. Michelle Vega, CCTV, Colombia.